This is a, um, a bowl that my wife and I purchased uh, in a place in Devon called Chagford. Um, and I'm not sure who made this, but the initials are on the bottom. Right, yeah. Um, and we bought it in about 1973. Yeah. And we had it for a number of years before my eldest son pushed it against the wall um, oh, nice. and did that to it. Oh. it. I mean, it really rather spoiled, unless you've got a banana hanging over the edge <laughs> or something, it spoils the appearance yeah, of no, it. no, absolutely. It looks to me like uh, someone's had a go at restoring that. Could I be right? Yeah, yes, I had a go myself with some putty that looked like plasticine that you, oh, could, right. mix up. you could mix them up and try and match the colour, oh. which I did not a bad job on. OK. But the pro problem was that after I had fired it at low temperature in the oven, yes. uh, it fell off. Yeah, if you're happy to leave this with me. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'll come back. First, to fill the gaping gap in David's bowl, Kirsten is bringing out her secret weapon, one you can pick up in any well-stocked garage. I'm actually just going to use a car body filler, which is what I use on, on ceramics like this. It's uh, like a polyester resin. It would be great on this because actually it cures very quickly, so it means I can pop it in there and be sanding it back within sort of 10, 15 minutes. It's quite difficult to get white fillers that are reversible and that also don't react with the paint. I think quite often practical people will actually often have a go themselves, um, but more often than not, they're actually just not very happy with the result that they achieve, so they end up bringing it to me anyway. Now Kirsten must paint her repair to blend in seamlessly with the original artist's work. Obviously, the, uh, the painting is the kind of more difficult bit. I've sort of getting my palette together because it's quite a lot of different colours sort of in here. So I'm just going to start getting rid of the white, blocking out the white. That's starting to um, blend in now. I used a, a matte glaze to get the background colour. And then um, you can see here there's some sort of glossy glaze as well. So I've gone over with the gloss in places to mimic that glossy finish. Oh, yeah. wow, that's amazing. I can't even see where it was. So where is it? Well, I was hoping you would say that. I can't see it at all. See if you can spot it. Um... No, I can't spot it. I cannot spot it. <laughs> Good. Phew. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> Let's have a look and see. Yeah, I can see it, actually. It's it's just across there. It's fantastic, and it's very, very smooth as well. It's, it's beautiful. Don't rub it too hard. I've no. just, <laughs> just finished it. We've had this bowl now for about 45 years, and it's been hidden in a cupboard for about 30 of those and subsequently repaired in four hours, which is fantastically impressive. Um, and it's just so nice to see it looking like this again. Oh, I would never have thrown it away. That's been the problem with it, because we have this attitude that either it gets fixed or it has to go because it's not being used, but you can't throw something like this away, I don't think.